So last night, Josh decided to upload another video. He's been uploading a lot the last couple of days. Um, this one was entitled Rant, and it was ranting about a podcast he was listening to. But then he gets into talking about now. And in this video, that's what I'm going to focus on. So I'm going to clip it down to just the parts where he's discussing now. And I'm going to give you my perspective on a lot of what he has to say. Let's go. And it's like, you know what? Treat others the way you want to be treated. If you couldn't handle your boyfriend being a psychotic well, why would you want to do it to him? Real talk. Oh, the other day, too, when Jessica Boyle saw the video I made about her, she managed to get a hold of one of my friends I was hanging with because it was a friend of mine's birthday, and uh, she was like, why'd you make that nasty video about me? I'm like, it's not a nasty video. I was... Standing up for myself because a lot of people are saying some about me, and it's like I'm not like that, dude. You're the one stalking me, and then when I called you out on it, you're like, It's not stalking, it's because I love you. And I'm like, No, that's not how this works. So, okay, so first things first, you should never have talked to now, even if she managed to reach out to one of your friends. Even if she called one of your friends and was on the phone and your friend handed you the phone and said, hey, man, now won't stop hounding me and calling me and texting me. Talk to her. You should not have talked to her. With someone like Nal, you have to go completely no contact. That means no texting, no calling, nothing. You have to literally disappear from the earth. And you're going to have to just tell your friends to block her too. But Josh, I think he is still going to run back to Nal. It is really obvious after watching watching this video that the boy is just continuing to cave. We'll see why he continues to cave here in a minute. And also he is still denying that the video happened that or what happened in the video is real. That's totally fine. He doesn't want to admit that he was in a state of mind where he was threatening to harm himself. His way of coping with it is to say that it's fake and it 100% was not. However, what was fake is the video that now posted to Instagram like a day later. Um, it was an edited video of the original video in which she had a portion of the clip where you had your gun and she was on the other door away from you or whatever and you threatened to harm yourself but there was also the part where you were saying she was asking are you gonna off me because I don't like the movie Tombstone and you say something to the fact of no I'm going to do it to myself well she edited that part out Josh she literally made a edited version of the original video basically making it look like you were threatening to harm her. She tried to edit a video to look incriminating against you after the fact. Luckily, I had the original video from Facebook before it was ever deleted. So we all know that that was complete bull. And a lot of people have been talking about that this weekend. I didn't have time to cover it, but I just wanted to quickly mention that now. And, you know, mention how messed up that is. The fact that she did that and you would still talk to her... After, I mean, maybe he doesn't know about the edited video, which is, in my opinion, even worse than the original because releasing the original is just like putting it all out there. It's being authentic. But trying to be a psychotic mastermind and make an incriminating video to edit something to sound how you want it to sound to incriminate a man or if it was the other way around is completely psychotic. Um, and then, of course, her Instagram got reported and then deleted. So unfortunately, that edited video I don't have. Maybe another channel has the edited version. But um, yeah, that's just wrong in so many ways. It's like next level. And I'm sorry I went on a tangent about that. But I had to talk about that and let you guys know about it because that was extremely unhinged. I mean, this woman just continues to do the most. Like, I, every time she does something unhinged, I think it's going to be like, it's going to stop there. But then it, it doesn't. She continues to surprise me with how insane she is reacting to Josh. And yes, she is 100% stalking him. This is not okay. And he needs to file a restraining order. Point blank period. The end. Oh, and then because I'm a man of my word, Jessica wanted to try the chocolate beer that I love so much. And I told Jessica, I said, well, I'll buy you a four-pack of it when you get back to Virginia. Because the store I wanted to order it from via DoorDash is out of the stock. 
I digress. I found another liquor store that sells it, so it's all good in the hood, man. But that's not the point. And this is why he's going to continue to give in to Nell. You broke up after everything she did, after the video she posted, you still sent her beer. Unbelievable. We all had seen Nell's Facebook post about getting sent beer. And we all assumed that it was a troll pretending to be you and that she just believed it, blah, blah, blah. For you to admit that you gave her beer after everything insane went down? Dude, come on. So, even though we're broken up, I try to be nice, and I buy her a four-pack. And she's like, on Facebook, going... This isn't an apology, but who cares? Bottoms up, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, excuse me, I wasn't apologizing to you. And I don't, appre I don't appreciate the fact that Jessica's going around on Facebook and telling pe people that I want to off myself. You. Well, in Now's deluded brain, you buying her something is an apology. It's like you making an effort to do anything nice for her is going to be looked at that way by her. So, dude. Stop doing nice things for her. Don't do anything for her. Don't have anything to do with her. The two of you need to go your own separate ways. And then all the, all the emotional and physical damage she caused to this relationship. And then she wants to take pictures of me passed out in my chair like a creepy psycho bitch. No. Yep. Just the same way that Aaron took pictures of you. Oh, the hypocrisy. How about no, you and like instead of being like, oh, I know, I'm not going to air Josh's dirty laundry and our fights on social media. No. Does the exact opposite. And then gets pissed off when Jessica Messica does the same thing to her. So they're saying how she don't watch Jessica Messica. I'm telling you, like, Jessica Messica and Jessica Boyle just need to les it out. They need to les it the f*** out, huh? Apparently, Jessica Boyle and her arch nemesis, Jessica Messica, used to be best buddies. But Messica was filming in rehab, and you're not supposed to do that, I guess. So Jessica Boyle got her kicked out of rehab for that, and now they've been enemies ever since. This is true, and if you want to hear now rant about this and gloat about doing it, go watch this video that I posted a few weeks ago. It's a whole Facebook rant of now talking about it. So it's insane, and it gives you a lot of details. And I'm like, who cares if she was filming her, her journey, you know? You prevented her from getting sober. You interfered with that. And the fact that Jessica used to be friends with Messica and she makes you really think. It means I'm going to take what she says seriously. And then on top of that, when she was here, you know what Jessica told me? She was like, show me how your shotgun works so I can blow my brains out. And I told Jessica, I'm not doing that shit. Knock it off. And then she wanted to talk about like how she wanted to run into traffic. And but yeah, yeah, I'm the one acting like that, right? Mm-hmm. You. And then when Jessica gets so drunk on stream, she's passed out in her bathtub, and people are worried she's going to fall drown, she gets pissed off because she gets a wellness check. The bitch is fucking disconnected from reality, dude. Which is exactly why you need to go no contact. Put it on a post-it note. Stick a post-it note that says that everywhere around your house. If you can't remember... Because you need to actually decide to do that and stick to it. It's the only way the two of you are ever going to separate. Otherwise, this nonsense is going to continue forever. And I'll tell you what, if she comes back to Casper again and she's not staying with me. I'm not having it. There are rumors. Um, people have been saying that she wants to go back around Halloween or something. Listen, if she goes back, then that's next level. Uh, once again, next level insane. I mean, after everything that's gone down, these two should never see each other again. And 
Josh, again, has to, like, be the one to do the adult thing here. He has to get the order of protection so that she literally can't come within so many feet of him or she'll get arrested. That's his only option at this point. Like, I hate to say it, but it's true. And if she doesn't leave, we'll call the cops and have her trespassed. Dude, that didn't work out for you the first time. Okay, so let me just tell you guys because you might not know. So when Now first got there... Um, she tried coming to his house and either he wasn't home or didn't answer. She tried coming back a second time. That's when he did call the cops and the cops came. But by the cops got to the house, because it probably took them like 20, 30 minutes or whatever, she had weaseled her way into a conversation with him where when the cops did show up, they said, everything's fine. Don't worry about it. And then Josh let her in. And then after that, he allowed her to stay with him. So that's how it all went down. So if he doesn't do anything different this time around, what makes him think that a different outcome would happen next time? It just doesn't make any sense. Again, like, <laughs> I'm not going to repeat myself. He has to get an order of protection or the same thing will happen again. Even if she, like, stayed with Aaron, you know, Aaron Valentine or anybody else, like, even if she got a motel again, she would find a way to come over there. And and listen, these two just cannot be in each other's physical proximity at this point. Anyone who facilitates that is even more psychotic and probably as psychotic as now. So I'm just saying, don't help them be together. They need to be separate. I'm tired of this shit. Everything. Time she's come to visit me it's been nothing but drama and fighting exactly i mean not even the first trip was nice they've never had just a nice pleasant time so how do you even build off of that like it was so toxic from the jump josh if someone's fighting with you like that the first week after you meet them run it's a red flag if i ever saw a red flag <laughs> uh and you know what she said which before she left? Next time will be better, I swear. It's like, no, it won't because we broke up. That's completely unfair to me, dude. If you break up with somebody, you, you'll just show up to their house. That, that's stalker shit, dude. If, it would gender, if, if I were doing that crap to one of my ex-crushes or ex-girlfriends, my ass would be in jail for stalking the f*** out of here, dude. Treat others the way you want to be treated. It's the golden rule. So like when Jessica, my ex, stands up for herself against Jessica Messica, it's not a shitty video. But when I stand up to her and I don't take any of her crap and I speak my side of the story, it's a shitty video. F*** off, dude. So now responded to this rant on Facebook, of course. She says, you don't get to lie, manipulate, and block people and then buy them beer thinking that it will pacify me. You reap what you sow. Eat your own BS manipulative words if you can. Man of your word would never BS me? Uh, okay. The one real person who actually gave a damn and you treat them like your lack of hygiene. Once again, Jessica, just proving how much you love your man. Go off, girl. Keep giving us this wonderful proof of how totally psychotic you are. All right, so here's a picture of the bowl that Josh gave her. And I did have a picture of the chocolate beer, but now I can't find it. So I know I saved it. Maybe I accidentally deleted it, but it doesn't re really matter that much. It was just a four pack of beer. Um, Jessica had also made this post a couple days ago, which was extremely rude to Josh. When you gain weight and bloat from liver failure, you might be an alcoholic. Whew, that's a rough one. Also, again, the hypocrisy. In other news, Aaron updated his Facebook profile, so does that mean that he's out of jail? Interesting. And one last little bit of tea, and I know that this could be potentially faked, so I'm just throwing this out there. This could be real, this could be faked. Because it's a screenshot, and we know how easy it is to alter screenshots, but supposedly, allegedly, someone from Discord baited Nell into a conversation on Facebook, so I'm going to show you those screenshots. Let's look at them together right here. 
So to me, these look real. And this is a response to her posting all of those horrible videos and pictures from the other day. This person said, I wondered why you'd waited a week to post these photos. Are you calling the police? Now replied, who cares? He still did it, did he not? And yes, I am. Once I get another piece of evidence sent to me. So basically, Chris has evidence that he's probably going to send to Nal. That's the only thing that would make sense for any of that to make sense to me. Um, she also said, who cares? He's a lying flip-flop POS, says one thing to me, tells YouTube another, doesn't matter what he said because he's a fake POS liar. So this is really damning, really telling. It makes me think that, um, Nal is going out and saying she's going to possibly file a police report. First of all, as we know from her fight with Jessica Messica, that's impossible because, you have to actually go to the police station where that person lives to file a report against them. That's why she hasn't been able to do anything against Messica. So it's the same with Josh. She's not going to be able to do that. She doesn't have the money or the means. Even if she did file a report, she'd have follow-ups, potential court dates, so many reasons why someone who is basically broke and doesn't have any means wouldn't be able to do anything about this. And unfortunately, that's true for actual victims of actual crimes, and that's really sad for those people. Uh, it's just hilarious in Nal's case because we know it's BS, and she's brought every bit of this upon herself. Furthermore, she's talking out of her like she always does, so don't even be worried about that. Josh obviously is going to be one of the luckiest people alive because he is not going to have to worry about that happening. It's it's not even a minute possibility in the realm of reality, okay? So let her continue to be the Lulu. It is crazy. I will keep you guys updated. If I find out any more tea, I'll be sure to share it. That's all I got for now. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know your thoughts down below and I'll see you guys very soon.